Greetings, people of the internet. Welcome to my underground laboratory. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs, the world's premier mad science supply company and lifestyle brand for mad scientists, evil geniuses, and supervillains. And what good is a supervillain if there is not a superhero to thwart his evil maniacal master plans? So I've spent the last month or so here in my laboratory, toiling away, burning the midnight oil, developing a way to help you guys build awesome superheroes. And all that hard work has finally paid off and I'm so excited to announce to you, the Design Cuts community, my brand new product, the Hero Design Studio. Now it's my hope that this new product will help revolutionize the way you approach character design. So if you want to draw superheroes, sidekicks, supervillains, all your favorite comic book characters, you'll be able to do it with ease with the Hero Design Studio. But without any further delay, why am I sitting here talking about it? Why don't I show you how it works? All right, let's dive into the Hero Design Studio. Uh, right now, I am in Adobe Illustrator. I've already loaded all my custom shapes in, and of course, there are instructions in the pack that shows you how to install all the various different assets that you can use for whatever program you're using. And it is available in Procreate, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Designer, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, there are also PNG files that you can use in pretty much any other program. But right now, what I'm showing you are just some of the different body types though there are 10 different body shapes and you can pick whatever you want you can also you know you can modify them you can squeeze them stretch them if you want a bigger figure scale them up scale them down you can do pretty much anything you want you can see i've got an adolescent i've got a sort of a chibi i've got a big bulking brutish type guy and it really depends now you saw some of the before in the intro video that little preview that I showed you saw me building a female character so let's build a male this time and with this one uh, there's a few different male body types there's athletic there's kind of muscle bound this is more of the muscle guy so and also there are 15 different head shapes you can see a few of them here so each program or app catalogs their assets in different ways right now like I said we're an illustrator which is utilizing symbols and what I like to do is I just like to drag a few of these different shapes to the artboard pick which one I want and then I'll kind of lay it out as you can see I'm sort of dropping it onto the figure right now all of the different assets are well cataloged and labeled so as you can see when you roll over those symbols the name of the particular symbol will pop up now if you are in procreate it's a little more easy to see like I said, each program has a different way of cataloging all this stuff. But I also included a guide that will show each one of the different shapes and what the name is and everything. So if you prefer just to pull them straight onto the artboard, you can do that as well. But like I said, I just like to throw some things down, get a few different options, because sometimes they're hard to see when they're those little symbols. And there are so many different options. Uh, I mean, you can just go crazy with the number of different combinations you can build. Right now, I've picked my eyes. There are 45 different pairs of eyes that you can choose from, both male and female, and then, you know, some sort of alien or anime may style eyes so just all kinds of different shapes that you can pick so we've got the eyes in place and as you can see there's guides on the face so you kind of get an idea where to place them of course the eyes can go across that horizontal line in the face I'm just dropping in some eyebrows here and there are a number of different eyebrows I think there are 30 different eyebrows that you can choose from pairs of eyebrows not individual eyebrows now let's give our character a mouth there are 25 different mouth shapes that we can pick and you know if you want this is you know sort of a kind of funny more cartoony mouth we've got more like female like fuller lips open mouth wider and of course you can again kind of stretch these and squash these 
and resize them so they'll fit. I'm not crazy about either one of these. I want something really basic for this guy. So just a regular, just that shape works really good. And like I said, resize it, line it up along those horizontal and vertical lines. And let's see, what else, what else does this character need? I think you could use a nose, and there are 25 different nose shapes. So as you can see, you know, there's some smaller ones, some stubby ones, kind of more pointy, more, you know, full. And like I said, they're they're all labeled. So and they're pretty self-explanatory based on the label. But just an average nose, I think, might work for this guy. I want to give him sort of a hero look. So nothing, nothing crazy. Some some noses and shapes and eyes and things are more adequate for say a villain or a more comical character this guy's going to be pretty basic and also we've got tons of different ears we've got i think there are let's see i think there are like 20 different uh, pairs of ears but i want to go this one i'm going to give him a little a little more rounder ears and again just line those up along those lines and let's try some different hairstyles there are 30 different hairstyles that we can choose from the mohawk looked all right but I, I don't know about that there are also a few different facial hair options you can do a mustache a goatee a beard but i don't know i mean that's not a whole lot of superheroes with facial hair although maybe maybe that would be cool I wasn't crazy about that hairstyle. I gotta find something I like. Right, maybe this, just this flat top. I think this flat top will look pretty cool for this guy. So just a little bit of tweaking, get it all lined up and everything. So yeah, I'm starting to dig this guy, but he needs, I don't know, he needs, he needs something else. He needs a little more. We got his face. I think his face looks pretty well, but I want to make him look more, you know, like a hero. He's if a hero. So what, what can we give a hero? Give him some accessories. So there are 30 different accessories, maybe some cool goggles. Eh, I don't like that. It kind of obscures his, uh, his kind of flat top there. Let's see, what else can we go with? We can give him a, like a domino mask maybe? That's pretty cool, but I don't know. Something, something a little, maybe a little more modern, I think. How about, uh, we can give him, we can kind of make him mysterious, we can give him a hood, but uh, I'm not digging the hood either for this guy. I mean, it's all just different choices. Hoods may look better on different characters, but this guy, I don't know. I want to give him, oh, I like that. How about we'll give him these goggles here. So it's just kind of some cool visors. And maybe he's got some sort of powers where he shoots blasts out of his eyes or something like that, or, or I don't know. We, we can come up with different backstories for all our heroes. But if you really want to make this hero heroic, why not give him a cape? So I like this sort of half cape sort of slung over his shoulder, but there are four different cape styles that you can pick. And of course you can flip them around, you can extend them to make them longer or shorter, whatever you like. But yeah, so I'm starting to dig this guy. He just needs, he needs a little something else. Now, of course, all I'm doing right now is building a template because I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna draw and create more things, but I just want sort of a basic, you know, guy to go off of. So, but I wanna give him a belt. So that's kind of, I don't know, that's, that's pretty, eh, I'm not digging that one. I want something a little fancier for this guy. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So that's, I think, I think I'm going to stop here as far as building my character, but now I'm going to take him into another program and I'm going to start drawing him. So right now I am in Clip Studio Paint. Now, if you're not familiar with this program, it is pretty much designed for making comics. So if you are a comic book creator, this is my favorite program to draw in because the brush engines just work perfectly and everything. I know a lot of people swear by Procreate. I think the brush engines in Clip Studio Paint are way better, but it's all up to you. And if you like working in Procreate, then there are all these assets, you know, brushes in Procreate. Again, there, it works in almost any different program, but I prefer to draw in Clip Studio, so that's what I'm gonna do. Of course, you can work however you like, but I prefer just to lay out my character. Once I have my template that I've created with the Hero Design Studio, I start laying everything out with the pencil brushes, and as you can see, I'm just adding some armor and some cool effects and things to them. And once I've got that, then I'll go over it one more time on another layer with ink, albeit digital ink. However, that leads me to a great point, and that is that you can use the Hero Design Studio in your favorite program. You can print the pages out. You know, you can give it to your kids to draw. They can create their own superheroes. 
it, yeah, it is great for kids, but it has so many different uses. Whether you want to use it as an aid to design heroes and characters for your comics and stories, maybe you're working on a marketing campaign where you want to showcase real life heroes like essential workers and show them sort of as comic book style superheroes. This product is tailor made for something like that. And with the popularity of superheroes right now in the media, in movies, and all over TV, who wouldn't want to be made into a superhero? I mean, wouldn't that make a great gift for somebody? I mean, there's just endless possibilities, whether you're designing, you know, invitations for a children's party or just party favors, draw your kids as superheroes or their favorite superheroes or an activity for a children's party where all the kids can get together and design their own superheroes. I mean, like I said, possibilities are really endless. There's so many things you can do with this. So for now, let's turn our attention back to the drawing here. We're still in Clip Studio Paint. Again, you can use whatever program you're comfortable with. I took a lot of time to ensure that this product would be accessible to anyone, no matter what program you prefer to create in. Again, 234 brushes in Procreate, 234 symbols in Adobe Illustrator, 234 custom shapes in Photoshop, 234 assets in Affinity Designer, 234 subtools in Clip Studio Paint, and 234 individual PNGs that can be used in almost any other software program. Also included are detailed instructions for all the different assets that show you how to install. There's diagrams, so it's real easy to follow. There are also some bonuses, which I will talk about, but we're getting close to finishing up our ink drawing for this hero. I think he's looking pretty cool, but he may need a little splash of color. So I think I'm gonna finish this guy up in Clip Studio Paint. Then I think I'm gonna bring him into Photoshop and I'm gonna add some color to him. Now, as you can tell, I am somebody who likes to sort of bounce around from one program to the next. I started in Illustrator, I went to Clip Studio. Now I'm in Photoshop where I'm gonna add the color because to me, I think each one of these programs has their own strengths. So I like to take advantage of those strengths, but that's not necessary. If you wanna work in just one program, say if you're a diehard Affinity Designer user or maybe Procreate your thing, you can do all this stuff in one program. I just like to keep my skills sharp and bounce around because for one, I'm, I gotta learn these programs so I can create these products for them. So I like to dip my feet a little bit here and there. And I also wanna give you a pretty good example of the different ways that you can use these programs to create awesome superheroes. So right now I'm using a process called flatting. I am just laying in these flat colors and then I'll go in and I'll add a little more of an airbrush look to kind of pop this character out. But first I wanna drop in all of these flat colors and I'm doing this on a layer underneath my line art, which you know you could set it up as a multiply layer and then just draw underneath. There are other techniques and I talk about a lot of these techniques. I have a YouTube channel where I just teach how to do comics. I do a lot of things on there, but there's a whole series on there, Making Comics 101, that teaches you all the aspects of making comics basically from start to finish. So if you wanna take this Hero Design Studio to the next level, learn how to create really cool heroes and stories and everything from writing to designing to drawing to publishing to marketing, all everything having to do with comics I talk about on my YouTube channel. It's at CircWorks on YouTube. I'll talk a little bit more about that before I go. But as you can see, play around with these different color schemes. I'm kind of liking this. I like the the white and the green and the purple here. Yeah, he's he's coming along. I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy with this superhero. I get excited about stuff like this when 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 a design like this starts to come together. Like I said, I just geek out about all this stuff. I love comics and I love creating heroes, all this stuff. It's it's really, it's like my favorite thing in the world. And that's why I create products like this, like Hero Design Studio. And I have other products for making comics. I have the Comic Maker Toolkit, which has, you know, like page templates and fonts and word balloons and what else? Brushes, digital brushes. Pretty much everything you need to make comics is in the Comic Maker Toolkit. So. And I'm just going to keep creating things like this for people who love comics, 
whether it's superheroes, whether it's storytelling, anything that's gonna help you create better comics, no matter what skill level you are. If you're just doing it for fun, if you're a professional, I want these tools and products to be accessible to anyone that has a love for creating comics or manga or pop culture, genre, all the geeky, nerdy, dorky stuff that I love and hopefully you guys love it too. So what is everyone thinking of this character? I'm pretty happy with how he's turning out. I can definitely see him as part of a superhero team and that's the fun thing about this. I mean, you can create endless amounts of characters. It doesn't stop at just one character. You can create so many different characters with all the different body types and all the different assets and accessories and hairstyles and face shapes and it's just fun to, to build superhero teams and, and, and you can go further than just designing them. Come up with you know, powers and statistics and, you know, backstories for all these different characters that you're creating. When I set out to create a digital product like this, I want you to be able to take full advantage of it. I want there to be hours and hours of entertainment that you're going to be able to derive from this or enough value to where if you're working on a professional project for a client, that you're just going to be able to knock this thing out of the park with just dynamite artwork, dynamite creations, the type of work that's just gonna wow your customers or your clientele. At least that's my hope anyway. So that's it, that's my hero. I'm curious what you guys think. I'm also curious what you guys can build with the Hero Design Studio. Feel free to share any creations that you make with this product with the hashtag CircWorks. I'd love to see what your imagination can come up with. So if you ever dreamed of creating an awesome team of superheroes for your comics, design projects, advertising campaign, or just for fun, and didn't know where to begin, well, this is your starting point. Build your templates, build your superhero teams, and share them with the world. And it's all available right here at Design Cuts, along with some of my other products for creating comics. And I'd like to throw in a lot of extras too. For instance, the Hero Design Studio comes with this 25 page resource guide packed with instructions, detailed references for all the different assets that are included in the pack, not to mention tips and tricks with advice on how to take your comic book storytelling to the next level and just create some amazing works of comic book art. So that's it, the Hero Design Studio. I'm hoping that this product is gonna spark your imagination and just light that fire to go create awesome superheroes, villains, all that cool stuff. And if you wanna learn more about designing superheroes or creating comics or any of that stuff, I have a YouTube channel where I just basically that's what I do. So follow me there, ask me questions. I love just putting this information out there for you guys. Yeah, check out the Hero Design Studio. And that's going to do it for this presentation. I will see you guys later. That is all.